an electrostatic generator produces a current of 40 milliamperes in an electric circuit. Calculate number 1. The total charge flowing through the circuit in 30 seconds. This question is medium. When you think about electricity calculations, you must first define your governs and the requests. This is the easiest way to answer such type of questions. The first given is the electric current intensity I. In this question, it's 40 milliamperes. Even if he didn't tell you that this is the electric current intensity, as long as this number is followed by amperes, this means it's electric current intensity. The second given is time. It's 30 seconds. And you can know it's time as long as you see the number followed by seconds as the unit. This question requests the charge. It's important to know the letter that is used as a symbol for any quantity. The symbol of the charge is Q. To answer these questions, you must memorize the 16 equations that are related to electric current and electric circuits. To answer these problems, first mark out the givens and the requests in the question. After that, remember their symbols and find the suitable equation among the 16 rules that you have memorized before. The next step is that you have to make any needed unit conversions, then substitute in the mathematical equation. The final step is calculate the final answer and do not forget to write the unit. Let's apply this in this problem. If you know the 16 rules, you will find that the best rule that fits what we need is Q equals IT. You can easily substitute in this equation, but a small problem is there. The current intensity is 40 milliamperes. Milliamperes is not a standard unit, so you must convert the 40 milliamperes into the standard unit of current intensity, which is amperes. So there is a previous step you must do, which is unit conversion. I equals 40 milliamperes. The word milli means 1 over 1,000. So I equal 40 times 1 over 1,000 amperes. This is 0 0.04 amperes. So 40 milliamperes will be replaced in our calculation with 0.04 amperes. Simply do your substitution. 0.04 times 30. This gives the final answer 1.2. And don't forget, the quantity of charge is measured in the unit Coulombs. This is written as capital C letter. Let's see what the mark scheme says. The mark scheme awards one mark for the substitution. This is what we made here. The other mark is for the final answer. Maybe there are no direct marks for the unit conversion. But if you do not make the conversion, your final answer will be wrong. This will make you lose the second mark. Question number two, double I. Now he's asking for the potential difference across a 5 kilo ohm resistor in the circuit. This is also a medium question. Again, let's see the givens and the requests. We have a given here which is 5 kilo ohms. This is the resistance R. Also the request is the potential difference. Potential difference is the voltage, which is V. If you look at the whole question, you will find that we have many givens. Number 1, I, the current intensity, which is 40 milliamperes. You have also the T, time, which is 30 seconds. Also you have the 1.2 coulombs. Now it's a given. It may be used in further calculations. The resistance 5 kilo ohms. Of course you will not use the four givens, but you must know all what you have. So you can decide which equation you will use to answer this question. Again, you must remember the 16 equations. And by knowing all your givens, you will choose the best equation to find what is requested in the question. I think the best equation is V equals IR. Again, there is another unit conversion. R here is 5 kilo ohms. 
kilo ohms is not a standard unit. The standard unit for resistance is ohms. So we need to convert 5 kilo ohms into ohms. The word kilo means 1000. So 5 kilo ohms means 5 times 1000 ohm equals 5000 ohms. By direct substitution in our equation, you can find that 0 0.04 times 5000 this equals 200 volts again the mark scheme awards two marks for this question one mark for the substitution 40 milliamperes times 5 kilo ohms we already made our unit conversion and the other mark is for the final answer again there are no direct marks for the unit conversion steps but if you do not make unit conversion your final answer will be incorrect.